I'm Adam Anschell for Pro Football Weekly from the Super Bowl 45 Media Center in Dallas, Texas. And one of the keys to the Packers' playoff run has been the improvement of their rushing attack. And a lot of that can be attributed to rookie James Starks. Now, not a lot of people have heard of the sixth round pick out of Buffalo, but Starks knew that that would change. I visualize, you know, commentators saying, you know, James Starks, who is this kid, you know? And, uh, now just listening to my family come to me and say, yeah, everybody's saying, who is James Starks now, you know? And if you ask any of my family members, they'll tell you, you know, I called them many a times and told them the same thing. Like, it's okay, they're going to know my name. For such a young player, Starks has a rich understanding of the history of the running back position. When asked his favorite backs, he throws out names like Gail Sayers and Otis Anderson, along with some more recent backs like Clinton Portis and Robert Smith. And Starks knows that trying to model his own game after some of the characteristics of the greats is a good way to get his name mentioned among them. I, I like certain backs, you know. I know uh, at University of Buffalo, uh, my running back coach used to try to tell me to go back and watch some, you know, some history, learn your history. And uh, they speak about it even at the, the rookie symposium about knowing your history. Um, those guys been through it already, and, and if they're the, the greats of their position, why not go back and watch what they were doing, you know, because you can learn from it. The fastest way for Starks to take the next step would be to play well on Sunday in the Super Bowl, but he'll have his hands full. The Steelers' rush defense is the best in the league, and that doesn't scare off the rookie. I wake up early, watch film, uh, try to find ways that I can beat their defense or, or do something that another running back missed, you know, and uh, that's what I try to do. You know, I don't, I don't try to say, oh, their defense is so great that you can't, you know, run. Yeah, you know, you can't surrender. You know it's going to be a fight. You know their defense is great. Just make the most of it, you know. So that's, that's basically what I'm trying to do. Starks almost didn't get the chance to be on this stage. He hadn't started a game since his junior year because of injuries and then tore his hamstring during rookie minicamp, which nearly cost his season. But now that he's healthy and playing well, he may have a new answer to the question, who is James Starks? How about Super Bowl champion? For more news and analysis from Super Bowl week, be sure to follow us on Twitter or go to ProFootballWeekly.com.